to lay out the pattern pieces, I'm following the guide sheet, and I have 60 inch wide fabric, so I have folded my fabric so that my one selvage is folded just wide enough to meet the wide, widest part of my bodice back. So my selvage is right here. This is actually the middle of my fabric. So I have two layers here. And then from the selvage over to the other selvage, I have one layer. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to lay out piece number one. It is on the fold. So to be on the fold, the edge of the fabric is actually lined up on the edge of the pattern piece. So I have my cutting line here. I have my grain line that says to actually place on the fold. So that line is at the very edge of the fabric where the fold is. And do that all the way down the, fab the pattern piece to put the pattern piece onto the fabric. Pinning against the fold first to line that up and then you can push out on your fabric piece very gently to get the pattern piece flat and pin the remaining part of that pattern piece. The next pattern piece that goes on is pattern piece six, which is the lower front. To get the pattern piece to lay correctly on the fabric with the pattern piece on the fold, I had to lay the pattern piece upside down. So the markings on my pattern piece are facing the fabric. Again, fold and place the pattern piece next to the fold, pin that, and then pin the remaining part of the pattern piece. The next pattern piece is piece number three. So we're going to place that on the fold to be able to cut the collar on the fold and have one piece. However, we need actually two pieces cut on the fold. So we're going to pin and cut one and then we'll move it down on the fabric and pin and cut the second one. So I'll go ahead and pin that one in place. So I'm lining up the edge of my pattern piece with the edge of the fabric where the fold is, pinning along the fold first to make straight, and then pinning out the rest of the pattern piece. And then the last pattern piece to go onto the folded section is pattern piece two, which is our upper bodice. Pattern piece two is, we need two layers of it, but it is not cut on the fold. So we actually want the edge of the fabric piece to be just off of the fold. So here's the edge of the pattern piece and here's the edge of the fabric. So to make sure that this pattern piece is on the straight of the grain, and again this one is upside down because I wanted it to be facing the same direction with the top of the pattern piece facing the same direction as the other tops of the pattern piece. So to actually make sure this is on the straight of the grain, I put a pin at the top of the grain line and I'm going to take my tape measure and measure from the grain line to the fold, which I have two and a half inches. And then I'm going to measure down and I'm going to put my two and a half inch mark on the fold and I'm going to move my grain line so that it is two and a half inches from the fold and then I'll put a pin in there and now I know that my pattern piece is on the straight of the grain. So now I can go ahead and pin 
the remaining part of my pattern. And as you're pinning, make sure what line you're cutting on for what size you are cutting because there are multiple sizes of patterns on the actual same pattern piece. So small, medium, and large. Okay. Right. Now to cut the remaining pieces or lay out the remaining pieces of our pattern, we have our sleeve and our pocket still to do. So in the area that is the single layer of fabric, we're going to start by putting our sleeve, but that's only going to get us one sleeve. So we are going to lay one sleeve here. Then once we cut that, then we'll move it on the other side of the pocket and lay it out again, cutting the second sleeve. But when we cut it out the second time, first time we lay it right side up with the lettering facing us. The second time we lay it out, we need to lay it with the lettering down, so pattern piece wrong side up, so that we have a left and a right sleeve. The other piece that I have pinned is the pocket, which goes between the two layers of the sleeve. We only need one pocket, so we cut that on the single layer fabric, and you need to make sure that is on the straight of the grain by measuring from your grain line over to your selvage and then marking that and straightening the grain line. So we'll do that with the sleeve as well. So to make sure the sleeve is in the straight of the grain, we will start by placing a pin in the top of the grain line. And then we will measure from the grain line to the selvage and mine is 12 and 3 fourths inches. So then I'm going to move down Mark 12 and 3 fourths inches at the grain line, lay that out, slide my grain line over until it matches the measurement of 12 and 3 fourths inches. Then I can pin around the sleeve. we have our pattern pieces cut and ready to cut our pattern pieces. We have them laid out. So we're going to cut around the pattern pieces according to the size that we're going to cut. Remember to cut your notches. Okay. So on the armhole, this is the back, so I have a double notch here, and the pattern pieces will draw your notches to the inside. But as you cut, cut them to the outside of your pattern. I have a single notch on the shoulder as well. So the way I'm going to cut those is I'm going to cut along the line, my cutting line, When I come to the notch, I'm actually going to turn and cut the triangular shape 
out on the outside of the cutting line so that I have a triangle and a notch to be able to match up. Then I'm going to do the same thing coming around the sleeve, the armhole. This time I have a double notch. So I'm going to cut out, cross, and back down. And then continue cutting along the cutting line. So you'll go ahead and cut out all of your pattern pieces along the cutting lines, making sure that you cut out your notches. You'll need to cut pattern piece number three, your collar, out of interfacing. Again, your interfacing, when you cut that, you need to place the pattern piece on the fold, and then you will need pattern piece number four. You will need that cut out of your interfacing as well. You'll need two pieces of that. After cutting the fabric, you should have one jacket back that's cut on the fold. You should have one jacket lower front cut on the fold. You should have one upper front that is not cut on the fold so that you actually have two pieces. You should have one pocket You should have two sleeves. You should have the collar. The collar, you should have two collars that are cut on the fold, and then you should have one out of interfacing that's cut on the fold. And then you should have two front facings out of the fabric and two out of the interfacing.